Boom, Ooh. bam, Ooh. Oh. bop, bada bop, boom, pow. Hello everybody, welcome to Call of Duty Mobile. This is one of those games where you can do a lot. Let me just check some daily stuff real quick. So this is a daily thing right here. Today's video will be a tutorial video on how to do everything. Click this button down here that says loadout and you have a lot of different stuff you can use. So I'm just gonna go to my SMG loadout real quick. This is your secondary weapon. This is knives, rocket launchers, and pistols. This one right here I use because this is a homing missile. You have two rockets. This one does a slightly more damage, but you only have one rocket and it's not a homing one. So I don't recommend it to you. This one right here. So I'm gonna introduce y'all to the loadout part. Y'all have all of these different stuff here because y'all's base melee, y'all will eventually get stuff like this. These are not camos, these are different stuff you can use. This is camos here, and you'll eventually get a bunch of different camos for your other weapons, which I will show y'all later. All right, there is also stuff like ammo, and I recommend you find ones with ammo because you'll find more damage in those, and you can add stuff like optics, perks, and um, underbarrels and stuff later to help your weapon out if you need that. So here are some of your lethal weapons here that go along with you. Sticky grenades, you throw them and they stick to walls. These you need to throw and you need to go back and get them. Don't recommend it to you quite yet. These a lot of people use. They get very annoying, trust me. These people run into and they blow up. And this here is my favorite. Here's what I do. I'm one of those people who play where I run up at people. I hold this in my hand so they gotta kill me. And I suicide bomb. So said. And that's why I like this one. But this one I unlocked from events. This one you can detect enemy players from decent amount of uh stuff yeah concussion grenade i am gonna let y'all read over this all later once you get the app for free and yeah i'll let y'all do that so here are some weapon camos so here are some vehicle camos i mean sorry um this is my main melee weapon for it and of all of these different camos. All right, customization. These are a bunch of the different sprays and stuff you can use. And so that. Here's multiplayer. They will have these out every now and then, which means coming soon they will have storms and stone, swords and stones, and in the sea which is probably a new map. Attack of the Undead is a really good one, and Group Combat is a 2v2 or a 1v1. The Gulag map is in that. So this is basically all of the Call of Duties mashed together. This one is a PTFO, shoot the ship 24-7. And here are your core ones, which are out all the time. Gunfight is another 2v2 one or a 1v1 free for all which has eight people all against each other hard point you gotta hold the hard point you'll find a lot of campers in there so if you like using your grenades use them molotovs get messy in that game mode search and destroy defuser plant a bomb kill confirmed after each kill you gotta run into the dog tax people make that mistake a lot domination you gotta claim the three points Team deathmatch, it's you gotta get to 40 kills. Frontline, you gotta get to 50. Here's some training modes. You can either do a game against AI or you can just do a training mode, which I'm gonna introduce y'all really soon. So let's do this. Uh. Okay. 
All right, I'm gonna switch to this real quick. All right, so this is training. You will find every Call of Duty gun here after they all load. And these are your sniper rifles, some Gs, all of your weapons. And you can pretty much kill about anything here. You can shoot down the hunter killer drones. You can shoot down UAVs. All right, so that's this AR I use. I recommend it to you because of its damage and rapid fire. This is something that I've been using for a while. You can click settings, change your loadout. So next time you die, you don't have to just click. But I use this. All right, and from afar, uh, dual wielding desert eagles. So what I don't like about these is you can't aim and they're not always guaranteed hits for kills or anything, unless you're Deadpool. Great movie. All right, so along with that, um, SMGs, shotguns, this one I like because it does 182 damage. It just gets rid of some of the beads on it, which means its range is increased, but it still is not the best for close range. Like, I can hit that target over there from here, which is insane because shotguns should not be able to do that. But this is the damage for a body shot. 108, and this is a headshot. All right, so now I'm just going to change my loadout to my LMG. This is an M4 LMG, which is what I use. It's really great. It does 100 shots. It sprays like crazy. It shoots in a straight line. Damage is consistent. It's just taking forever for ADS. And what I really want to do is I want to try using hit fire, but it spreads everywhere when you use hit fire for some reason. This is a homing rocket, which is mostly used on vehicles, or unless you're like me and you can blow people up really easily. Missed. Oh well. All right. Now to my World War II loadout. The, you can use this kilo bolt action for either fire shots, say, um, for damage or so. It's damage starting is not really the best, but yeah. And this is my revolver, which is insanely good. It shoots really far. Its damage is pretty decent. That person would have been dead if we were in an actual game saying the range on this thing and accuracy is really good all right so that would be it for that here are some of your controls this is my recommended one assault rifles and everything else is ads and shotguns is hip because you don't really need to aim with a shotgun basic aim assist and all that it's not aim bot it's aim assist but it doesn't work anyway. So, quick run from prone and all that. I will let y'all read all over this later. All right, so that, forgot to do that. Um, I put realistic for battle royale graphic style and um, sensitivity here and all that. You don't really need to change too much. Um, you can show stuff in your vehicle from Battle Royale settings like layout B, layout C, layout A. I prefer layout A, but this is you. So all that um, semi-follow, follow free, or vehicle HP, I recommend that to you definitely. And automatic obstacle avoidance. I also recommend you quick messages. You can use this to quick message and battle royale, team deathmatch, domination, all that. 
controllers. You can use Bluetooth and set up your Xbox controller to the game. I'm not saying all the settings, but yeah, I do not have an Xbox controller yet, but if y'all do, then I recommend some of this stuff to you. And if you're inviting a friend with an Xbox controller, y'all most likely find a game with people using an Xbox controller. So don't quite recommend that to you if, unless you can beat your friend with an Xbox controller or without one. Along from that, leave the match. And for you new players, this is also the Battle Pass. I bought it because it looked really interesting this time. But you can get skins, weapon camos. There are always new guns. So the new guns for this season are normally in tier 21. Which was the CR-56A Max. So that one was pretty good. But I already have a better AR. There are some better ARs still. You can get banners and all the sorts, tier 50. Um, and if you get anywhere past tier 50, it will just give you 50 credits. What can you do with these credits, you might ask? Well, you go to store, go to credit shop, and you can do a lot with it. So you can buy perks, you can buy battle royale classes, Weapon skins, people skins, um, banners. You just need to have enough of it. And this changes every season, but this season lasted forever, so. And it still is going, so. I recommend all this to you. Alright, so. There are even draws. CP you have to buy, but I did this draw like a hundred times, so. I lost all my CP from the battle pass. You can use CP to also buy the battle passes if you're not really that big of a spender. But that was my first battle pass I bought. This is my clan. I hope that my clan members can um, speed it up a bit more so that I can invite more people. But this is my clan. You can do these clan missions. And currently, we are demolishing everyone. All of these territories are ours. I mean, look at this. Look at this. This is our clan. This is crazy. So, um, there was also something going on where it was the Federation versus the Ghost. And so, I chose the red team, but still, it was really fun still. Here was the map of the everything that happened. The event ended with blue side winning, but we still put up a really good fight. So, um, yeah. Here are some stuff where you can do a bunch of missions for some skins and maybe even some new guns. This shorty is a really good, um, a really good, uh, secondary weapon. Yeah. It's like a shotgun. It has good range and it's, and it has ADS first. All right, so I'm probably gonna do that so I can get XP cards and level up my guns so that my SMG can be better than a bunch of ARs. All right, so this one is also a really interesting one. I just don't know if I want it because I already have the Vulture perk, which allows me to pick up ammo, but speed is the name of the game. Play to earn all new perks with Gung Ho. So basically what it does is it's hip fire, throw grenades, and change mags while sprinting, which is very useful for my suicide bombing, but I already have a perk that allows me to pick up ammo, and ammo is really a big thing when it comes to stuff like zombies. So I am keeping that perk. So um, yeah, here's also a thing where you can click on this thing here and you can change your skins and customize them. And here is all of my skins. This one is one of my favorites because I did this in the Battle Royale World Championship thing from this season. So, that's probably it for this episode today. Thank you for watching, and if you want me to play with my friends, like and subscribe. Probably at 50 subscribers, I will do Call of Duty again. 
and I will do some trolling, which means I will kill my teammates, bomb the enemies. That's what I'm gonna try and do next time at 50 subscribers. Let's get there. All right, see y'all in the next video.